Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name's Sean. I'm a full-time clothing eBay reseller. I'm here to share my daily sales with you guys. We have 18 items today for $438.94. First item that sold is a Polo Ralph Lauren Blake corduroy long sleeve button shirt, size large in beige. Whenever I find something that's corduroy, I like to look it up to see if there's any sold history. This next item is another Ralph Lauren. It's a long sleeve button shirt. This is XL and it was yellow striped. I sell a ton of Ralph Lauren. If it's a plain color, usually they sell for a little bit less unless it's like a special material. But if it's a stripe or has like some prints on it, it usually commands a little bit more money. We sold a pair of jeans. These are silver. Elise jeans, women's size 27. Jeans is a great category to sell in. When it comes to women's jeans, there's a lot of flaw spots you have to look for, like the inner crotch and like the ribbing it can get from just being stretched out. I don't like going through the jean aisles anymore for women's just because there's tons of jeans and there's also a lot of shoppers in them, so it's a bit more competitive than let's say like men's jeans or men's shirts. We have a pair of Quicksilver Amphibian shorts. These Quicksilver Amphibians are really good items to sell. Now that it's warming up, they're gonna start selling more often. This buyer decided to buy two items. They're two Western shirts. The first is a Panhandle Slim long sleeve button shirt, and the next was a Wrangler long sleeve button shirt, George Strait edition in blue. So both of these shirts are blue, but they each have geometric prints. Geometric is gonna be if the same print repeats over. I don't put geometric in the title as I don't think many people are actually searching for geometric. If you can identify the print, that may be better for the search. I think whenever somebody's searching like a long sleeve button shirt for either the Wrangler George Strait or the Panhandle Slim, they'll see all the blue ones come up in that size and then whenever they see mine with the prints on it, it just sticks out in the listing and that's why these are more desirable to pick up and more desirable for buyers to, to buy online. Since he did buy two of them, I'm gonna fit them together and then I'm gonna pack them in a flat rate envelope so that I can just have one shipping cost and they'll get there safely. We sold a pair of Carhartt pants. These are navy blue, relaxed fit, kind of like your work wear or somebody who might be wearing a uniform to work. We have another Polo Ralph Lauren. This is the Blake cut and it's a long sleeve button shirt, beige, size medium. Territory Ahead is a newer brand to me. It had a pretty good sale here for $21 plus shipping and it's a blue color and it also has a geometric print. I considered keeping this, which is a problem whenever I'm buying and selling so many men's clothes that I find a lot that I like. I decided to sell it and I think it was the right choice. Speaking of buying clothes and keeping them for myself, I recently bought this diesel jacket. I got it yesterday for $16. I threw it on and it kind of has that feel of the pilot's jacket that I sold earlier last week. I think I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit. Next item is a Wrangler denim long sleeve pearl snap shirt. Pay close attention to anything that's denim. Sometimes it's uh, thicker cotton, sometimes it's a little thinner like a blend, but it has like a faux denim look to it. Definitely search that item and type denim as a keyword because it's just, it's like a timeless kind of look that a lot of people go for and I always seem to sell them pretty well. Next up was an Arcteric shirt. This is a short sleeve orange red plaid shirt. I always list Arcteric pretty high because it's a really expensive brand. I let this one go for a little cheaper just because I felt like it was enough money for what it is and I didn't pay a whole lot for it. There is something to be said about holding on to items that have such a high uh, value to them. The only thing is with my store, I like to push items out quickly and then get that cash back so I can redeploy it into more items. This next brand is called Cuts. It's a short sleeve polo and it has a curved hem at the bottom. Cuts is an easy brand to kind of look over, but whenever you're going through the racks and you feel like a really soft polo, definitely check it out. And if it's Cuts, it's going to sell pretty quick for decent money. We have this vintage long sleeve sweatshirt. It was some hockey team, the Mallards in Quad City, which I don't really know where that is, but... I listed it super high at like $100 and it just wasn't selling. So it finally ran into my sale and uh, somebody picked it up. Oh, uh, They also asked if I could meet them in person to like make the deal, but I think they're in another state. So I was like, no, I can't do that. Next up is a short sleeve Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a 2XB. Usually the 2XB sell for more money than this one did. Sometimes I price items way too high initially and then I don't kind of check on them and no one sends lower offers and then they end up hitting my sales and selling for like, you know, just pretty much at cost. This buyer bought two pairs of jeans. One was an American Eagle Artist size 10 and the next was a pair of Express Girlfriend jeans size 10.
I'm gonna save a little bit of money on shipping by putting these in a legal flat rate envelope. We sold another Nike Golf Stormfit pants and I think I left some money on this one. This one's another Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a quarter zip 2XB in gray. Yeah, this one definitely should have sold for a little bit more money. We sold a Terra and Sky jeans. These are a size 14, petite. Terra and Sky is a pretty cheap women's jeans brand. However, if you find like some of the bigger sizes and certain styles, they can actually sell for pretty good money. These didn't make me a whole lot of money, but there was a time that I was buying so many women's jeans and you can kind of see most of them are in the older part of the inventory here. Last item we have is a Brooks Brothers. This is a long sleeve button shirt. It's blue and pink. Brooks Brothers is a pretty decent brand to sell. I would definitely go for like the larger sizes. I've sold even like the extra smalls and smalls and mediums before, but the larger sizes seem to sell a little bit faster. That's all the sales I have for you guys today. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Tell me some of your favorite sales. Tell me some things I might be doing wrong. Tell me some of the sales you guys made earlier this week. I also wanted to tell you about a Facebook Marketplace deal that I did really good on. I like to lift weights here in the garage, and I found these Rogue competition plates. If you guys aren't familiar, the Rogue competition plates are these rubber plates here with the steel ring in the middle. They sell for a lot of money, and I've never found them on Facebook Marketplace before. There was a CrossFit gym owner that was getting out of their gym and they decided to sell all their equipment. I ended up getting four 45 plates, two 35s, and two 25s for $300. If you guys aren't aware, these are like the Cadillac of weights and now I can sell my iron weights and then I can get the money back that I used to buy these weights. If you guys are looking for things to make quick flips on or maybe like bigger dollar flips, check Facebook Marketplace because a lot of people are just willing to get rid of their stuff for cheap because they want it out of their hair and they don't want to see it laying around their house anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have a sourcing video coming out next. I have my big sourcing trip once a week and I went to a few stores, decided to record. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not sure the style it's gonna be at. You can kind of see me out there in action finding these items to sell online. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye.